Welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 8C and uh, we're just going to get a little bit deeper and more advanced with this uh, invisible scene that we've created to sort of be a secret lock screen. I'll show you a couple of other things you might want to do with it. Um, both inside the scene itself and then outside of the scene as far as activating it. And let's start with that. Now one thing that might get a little irritating is you turn your phone off and then two seconds later you realize you need something and you turn it back on and this lock screen is here. And of course we know you can get out of it by dragging up and now it's gone. But maybe you only want that invisible lock screen to activate if your screen has been off for a certain amount of time. So let's do that. If we go over here to uh, task, because I know anytime we turn our uh, screen off, it activates this task, the secret lock, which shows the scene. But we could change it. We can add a task, so I click the add button and then task. And let's add wait, wait. And you can make it as long as you want it to. Maybe you only want it to come on if your phone's been off for a minute. Then you can make it a minute. You can make it however long you want to. Um, let's say, I'm going to say 10 seconds. Uh, let's say 15 seconds. Just for the sake of this lesson. I'm going to say 15 seconds. So it's going to wait 15 seconds. I'm going to move that up. And remove stuff by pressing on the side here and then dragging. And uh, so now, first thing it's going to do is wait 15 seconds. Then it's going to go to this ne next task, which is to show the scene. But here's what I'm going to do. Show the scene if, and then I'm going to click my uh, variable list, or what I like to call the price tag right there. And we're going to go down here to the built-in variables. Look for the one that says screen. There we go. If screen. And we're going to type off. So now, when it gets to this task, it will only do it. It will only show the scene if the screen is off. So, anytime we turn our screen off, it initiates this profile, because this profile is, is when display is off, trigger this task. So when we turn our screen off, it triggers that task. What is that task? Well, that task is first, wait 15 seconds. After 15 seconds passes, then if the screen is off, go ahead and show the scene. But if the screen is back on, it's not going to do anything. So that's the way you can have it so that it doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't just turn on every time you turn your screen off right away. You can have it just initiate after whatever time frame you pick. So uh, let's check that out. Let's go back to my uh, home screen here and we'll turn my screen off. We'll wait just a couple of seconds and then turn it back on. And you'll see you don't see an X there and we can access my phone with no problem. Well. My phone's being kind of stupid, but uh, you can access my phone with no problem, no lock screen. So let's turn it off and let's wait 15 seconds. And while I'm doing that, um, I'm trying to think of something clever or smart or funny that I could tell you while we're waiting for 15 seconds, but I don't have anything right now. So. So make up your own joke to fill this space. <laughs> After we get through with this, I'm going to show you some cool things with the gesture, uh, how to get more advanced with that. But I think we've been off for 15 seconds now. So let's turn the screen back on. And look, there's the X right there. And sure enough, this doesn't do... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that I changed that to say that. So if you tap it, blah, blah, blah. that's what it says. Um, but yeah, nothing works because we've got our lock screen activated. But of course, we know the secret that if we gesture up in the corner, that opens the screen up. Again, if you turn it off and turn it right back on, then nothing. 
uh, you have full access because it didn't do anything. It will only activate after 15 seconds if your screen is still off. So that's how you can put a, put a delay into your lock screen if you wanted to, to, wanted to do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you that's a little bit more advanced is uh, with gestures. So this, we have this big box right here in the middle. Um, we can go in here and uh, I'm going to delete the, the tap and one way to delete is to press inside here and then drag down to the trash can and delete it. And we're going to go over to stroke. Um, initially we uh, had one thing so now we're going to add because here we go direction is any, length is 100 we can change that and again that's pixels and it's approximate it's not exact but Let's shorten it to say 50. So that's any any gesture or any short gesture should trigger it without any problem. Um, so we have our first task says sorry you're locked out and that's if the stroke direction is up. But you can have stroke directions, you can have different actions for different stroke directions and you can have up, down, left, right, down, right, down, left, up, right, up, left. So for example let's add one here and let's say uh, if someone just picks up your phone and, and you know tries to open it by gesturing then you might just uh, uh, have different for up, down, left, right. You probably just have different phrases saying ha ha you can't use my phone or whatever you want. But maybe diagonally because people generally don't wouldn't do that if they didn't know you wanted to do something a little, more, a little bit more advanced um, like launch a task. Uh, so we could uh, have it open. Let's have it open an app. So you choose app and then load app. And then let's have it uh, let's find Gmail in here. Or actually, I can just pick my regular. No, I don't want to do my email. Let's do Gmail. There we go. So Gmail. And so then you go if and then stroke direction. You, now this isn't automatically going to be in there until you've typed it in at least once. So uh, you would have to type it out the first time, which is stroke underscore dir. But after you've typed it out once, then it'll be in that list for you. And we're going to say for that we're going to say up right. So I would be up and to the right. And then we're going to say I have to add this as well. Scene. Destroy scene. If start direction is up right. Now if you didn't if you wanted it to just show your email but you not have access to it unless you took away the scene you could uh, leave this out but otherwise you need it to both load the app and destroy the scene if you want it to I'm gonna have it destroy the scene first if you want it to uh, uh, open your email and you'll automatically have access to to it. Um, by touch. Uh, then let's go plus and let's go app. Let's go load app and let's do let's do the music player. For the life of me I can never remember what the Google music player is called now. It's like, there it is, Play Music. Because they don't call it Google Music or Google Play Music, it's Play Music. So let's do that. And let's say if the stroke direction is up left. And for that one, I'm not going to create one to destroy the scene. Because maybe I just want that if I'm listening to my music 
uh, and I have it playing, but my music app isn't in the foreground, and I turn my screen off and I turn it back on, I just want to bring it to the foreground so I can see what album it's from or something like that. So just an example. And so you can have up right, up left, again, down right, down left, and then down, up, left, right. You can have a different task for each one of those. And with these, uh, uh, I mean, the first one I have saying something. The second one's destroying the scene and loading an app. The third one's loading an app. But just remember, you can have anything. You can have, uh, uh, you can have it open an image. You could have it uh, take a picture. Um, you could have it, uh, if you use media, there's anything that you can do in Tasker, any task. You can have it trigger a task. There's lots of different things you can do uh, with this, whatever whatever you can think to do. So let's uh, let's test it out first. I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to go to task, and I'm going to change this weight to one second just because I don't want to have to waste 15 seconds with you guys. So, there we go. So we're going to go back to my home screen, turn the screen off. Now I only have to wait one second. Turn the screen back on. You can see the X there, let you know that uh, it is active. And so if I go, uh, if I gesture up, Then it's not going to load anything. Sorry, you are locked out. It's just going to give me that message. But if I uh, go up and to the right, then it kills the scene and it opens my Gmail. Let's go back out again. And then go back in. If I go up and to the left, then it opens play music. But it didn't kill the scene, so even though it opened play music, I can't. Sorry, you are locked out. I like see, I can't do anything because I'm still, I'm still locked out. Um, now if I drag up, then I can do stuff because I've we created the little up gesture over here to cancel it out. So, just wanted to. Uh, uh, show you how you can use gestures in various ways within that scene. Um, you could, you know, if you want to get really, really fancy with it, then you could create, you know, you could put a box on the top half and a box on the bottom half, and you could have, you know, potentially eight different gestures in each box do eight different things. Uh, just depending on what you want to do with it. It's really, uh, really unlimited. But uh, the one thing I do want to point out is that the whole time that I've been doing this, I have, in all three of these lessons, I've never taken away the secret X. And why is that? It's because I wanted to make sure it worked correctly. I didn't want to, what if nothing I had done worked and I couldn't close the scene out? And you kind of screwed. I mean, there, may, there is a way you can kind of eventually get out of it, but it's a pain in the butt. You don't want to have to do that. So you leave that X there so that you can always X out of the scene and have access. Now we've tested this and we've tested it a lot. So now that we've tested it a lot, I can go in and go to that task. And I can remove the show exit button. And Tasker warns you, it's possible to accidentally deny yourself access to the device by obscuring the whole screen. So make sure you've put in place the correct alternative. Um, and we have, we've tested it out, and again, you never do this until after you've fully tested it out, but we have, so we're good. So now I'm going to turn this off, and when I turn it back on, we're locked out. There is no X there. There's nothing there, so if someone just turned on our phone, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't understand why they're not able to do anything, but we would know, and we would know we could launch our email just by doing that. So, anyway, that's uh, that's it for this lesson. If you like this uh, uh, video, please click the like button. Um, please share these uh, uh, videos with your friends and family, or I guess 
just anyone you know who actually is interested in Tasker. Uh, it's not not for everybody, but for those who are interested in Tasker. And you can do that on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Reddit, all those good ways that are down there. Subscribe to my channel. I have uh, over 150 Android app reviews. You can check those out and find out about some cool Android apps. And subscribe to this playlist just uh, if you want to keep up with uh, future lessons as there will be more coming down the pipeline soon. And uh, that's about it. Until next time, so... Have fun with Tasker.